Hey guys, it's Katherine, and today is the start of a new video series. Um, in this series, I'm going to be spending a little bit of time every single day filling in my daily planner. So I want to pause right here and say that there will be several tutorials throughout this series because I'm going to be explaining everything that I'm doing and how I do it. So even if you don't have a daily planner, you still might gain something from this series. I will post timestamps in the video description to everything that I do throughout this series. So if you missed where I actually got this calendar right here set up, I did this in my November plan with me video, which has already been uploaded and I will link to that in the video description if you wanna see how I got this calendar set up. So what I'm gonna do in this first video is I'm gonna set up the entire planner for how I wanna use it for the whole month of November. And then every day I'm just going to work on it a little bit. So some of these videos might be like today where you'll see my entire iPad and you'll be able to see me work. And then other days it's probably just going to be a screen recording of me working on this planner. Because unfortunately I don't get to work in my office every day. So on the days that I can't work in my office I'm just going to do a screen recording. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to, like I was saying, set this planner up. So all I'll have to do is create my layouts and bring those in and I won't have to duplicate a page every single day. So I'm going to use my daily planner as a scrapbook for the month um, instead of like a functional planner. So I'm going to duplicate a blank page behind every single tab for every day and every week. So every day I'm going to have a daily page and I'm going to put pictures for that day and I'm going to write down, you know, some memories for that day, what happened that day. And then for my weekly pages, instead of doing a weekly planner, I'm just going to do a photo collage for all of the photos that I took that week. And I'm going to create that collage and photo quilt and then bring it into the planner. So right now, all I need to do is duplicate my blank pages. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to these four boxes right here and I'm going to scroll down and the blank page is the very last page at the end of the planner. So I'm going to click on edit and then I'm gonna click on that blank page and then I'm gonna click on copy. So now I'm gonna click on done and then I'm gonna scroll back up and I need a copy of that blank page after every single tab. So my first five tabs right here that start with slide four are week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, and then we get into our days. So here is the first day of November. So I need to copy a blank page, like I was saying, behind every week and then behind every day up to day 30 because November only has 30 days. So in order to do that, I'm just going to select this plus sign and then in between each tab, I'm going to insert this blank page. So in between week one and week two, oh my gosh, I closed it. So in between week one and week two, I am going to, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to hit that plus sign, and now in between week one and week two, I am going to click on that plus sign and click on paste copy pages. And now I'm going to do that in between week two and week three, and I'm just going to keep doing that, like I was saying, in between each tab until there's a blank page behind every single tab. Okay, so I'm done with that, and I don't need a blank page behind tab 31 because it's only a 30-day month. So now, um, like I was saying in my November plan with me video, for my monthly calendar, I'm just going to put a photo for every single day. So I actually almost forgot to take a photo yesterday. I didn't realize it until later in the afternoon, but I did get a few pictures of my daughter. So I'm going to import one of those now and place that on the first day of November. And I am going to crop this a little bit. So I'm just going to select it and select crop. And instead of a freehand crop, I'm going to do a rectangle crop and just make it a little more of a square. And now I'm going to size this down so it'll fit here. Okay, so now I am going to do a little bit of a freehand crop um, to crop off this edge right here so I can still see my number sticker. So I'm going to click on it, click on crop, and I'm going to come down here to freehand. And I am going to just try to draw a weird shape around her. I'm terrible at drawing lines, but I'm trying my best. Okay, so that gave me a little bit more of the shape that I want, and now there it is. So now it fits a little bit better in that box. So I've done that, and now I am going to do the rest of this in Procreate. 
So I'm just gonna pull up Procreate, and now I want to just create a blank page. So like I was saying in my November Plan With Me video, the ratio for these pages is seven inches by five inches. I'm gonna increase that just a little bit so I won't have to resize as much once I bring it back into the planner. So seven times two is 14, five times two is 10. So I'm gonna do a 14 inch by 10 inch canvas. So to do that, I'm just gonna select this plus sign and I'm gonna select create custom size and I'm gonna change uh, the dimensions to inches. And now I'm gonna type in 14 for the width and 10 for the height. And that gives me a maximum of 38 layers, which isn't awful. And I'm gonna keep my DPI at 300. So now I'm gonna click on create and I've got my canvas right here. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write the date and I'm just gonna play around with some brushes. I usually use my own brushes um, like that. I'll be using that signature brush a lot. That's normally what I use to fill up my calendar, but I wanna play around with some other brushes for my date. So let's see what I've got. Okay, so I really like these Missy Meyer brushes. Um, I'll try this Painter Soft too. I wanna make it a little thicker. It might be a little too thick. And I'm writing this way too big. I'm actually gonna turn on my drawing guide so I can write it a little more proportional and then size it down. So I'm turning on my drawing guides now. And now I'm gonna try this out. Let me make the brush a little bit thinner. Okay, so I wrote that pretty big, and some days I might not write it as big, but today I did because yesterday was kind of crazy, but it was more so crazy because my three-year-old uh, Maddox did not want to listen, and so he was just insane. He was all hyped up from Halloween, so that's why he was acting so bad yesterday, but uh, so while it was kind of a hectic day, it wasn't a busy day, so I don't really have much to write about, and I'm not going to write about how he didn't listen to me at all yesterday because that's irrelevant. Um, so, I am going to bring in those few pictures that I took of my daughter and create a little collage with those. So, that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm just going to go to my rinse tool and pull those in from my camera roll. Okay, so I've got these set up and now I'm going to merge these together and I'm gonna cut off the edges a little bit. So, I haven't yet released the tutorial on how to do this, but I filmed it and I have it coming as soon as I can get it edited. But I am just gonna easily crop these photos in Procreate by dragging them to the edge and then deselecting them and everything that's off the canvas will be cropped. It's very easy to do. Um, so I'm gonna zoom out so I can crop the bottom part a little bit. Okay, so now this is something that I'm gonna try out. Um, I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to like it, but I'm going to try to create a pink outline for this shape. Um, so in order to do that, I want it to be behind the pictures. So I'm going to go down here to layer number one, and then I'm going to create a new layer so it's beneath the pictures. And then I'm going to select a pink that I like. And I'm still going to use this paintbrush because I really like the effect that it has. And I'm just going to make it a little thicker. Let's see. That's not thick enough. Still not thick enough. And actually, I said I was still gonna use that brush, but I need to find more of a rounded brush. Let me see what I can find. Yeah, okay, I like this. This is called the Miko Mix Zippy Line Brush, and I got these on Creative Market. I'll also link to these in the video description. So now that I'm behind the pictures, I'm just gonna trace this shape. So I need a bunch of straight lines in order to do that. So I'm going to uh, just start writing, and then at the end of that line, I'm just gonna press and hold, and it gives it more of a straight line. So now I'm gonna draw down and press and hold. Now I'm gonna go across and hold, and for some reason it did something weird right there. I'm gonna redo that line to see what happens. There we go, that looks a little bit better. Okay, so now I'm gonna come down this edge, press and hold, press and hold, 
and now that's got like a really cool outline. I don't know. I just like the look of that. So now I'm going to merge both of those together and then I want to size it down because that's pretty big. I'm going to fix the top of this one just a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to find a thicker brush and write her name. Let me try this streamline brush. I really want just a really thick. That's pretty. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to write her name a little bit neater in a light pink. Okay, that's interesting. That's good enough. Um, so now let me think about some other things that happened yesterday other than my son acting like a crazy person. Um, so yesterday, Sonny was supposed to go back to his mom's house, but we ended up getting him for a few extra days. So I'm going to write down that Sonny stayed home. First, I need to create a header. And in order to create this box that I'm about to create with a header, I'm actually going to type out the header. So I'm going to use this font called One Wish and I'm going to use an app called Graphic. So uh, first I'm going to create a new document and then select a blank background. And now I'm going to select that document. So I'm going to go to my text and then I'm going to double tap. And I want to select a font called One Wish that I just installed. So I'm going to do the One Wish print and then overlay it with the One Wish script. So I'm just going to make the header say events. So I've got my font selected and now I'm going to type the word events. And I want that font to be way bigger. So I need to select it and then I can adjust the size. I'm going to have to readjust this text box. Okay, I'm gonna select it again and I'm gonna select a different color. So let's see, I'm gonna do a light pink and I already have this hex code memorized. I've got another tutorial on how you can find colors that I'll link to in the video description um, so you can figure out hex codes for colors that you like. But I really like this light pink. So I've got this typed out. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this paper clip and I'm gonna select copy. And now I'm going to go back into Procreate, and I hope this works. Um, I'm going to three finger swipe, and I'm going to select paste. And it did work, and it brought it in really small, but that's fine. Um, you know, this is my personal planner. It's not professional, so I can make it work. So I've just resized that, and now I'm bringing it up here. And now I want to overlay this in a script font in black so it looks like a really cool header. So to do that, I'm gonna go back into graphic. I'm just going to double click on the text that's already there. Um, I'm gonna select it and change the color back to black. And now I'm gonna go from One Wish Print to One Wish Script. And I will link to this font in the video description as well. And actually, um, I'm gonna retype this because I want events to be lowercase. Okay, so now it's exactly what I want it to be. So I'm going to go back to this paper clip, click copy. I knew this method worked for um, good notes. I hope I click copy. I knew it worked for good notes, but I didn't know if it worked for Procreate, but it does. So I've done that, and now I can three finger swipe and hit paste. And now I can size this, and I just want it to stretch across events. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to merge these together and I'm going to size them down smaller because I don't really need the header to be that big. And now I'm just going to draw a box around it. So I'm going to select a black color and then I'm going to use my signature brush because that's my go-to brush. And I'm just going to draw a box like this. Let me make this a little thicker and zoom in just a little bit. Now I'm going to duplicate that and then flip it. And now I'm going to connect the bottom. Okay, so now I've got to fix that bottom. That's going to drive me crazy. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to merge these 
and resize this little bit. I'm gonna group that with that layer. So now I can bring it about right here, which is where it looks a little better, and go this way with it. Cool. So now I'm just gonna list out some things that happened yesterday. Um, so, like I was saying, my stepson was supposed to go back to his mom's house, but that ended up not happening. And now we're going to have him through the weekend. So, we're going to have a fun movie weekend and stuff this weekend. I'm looking forward to it. Um, but I'm going to write down that Sunny stayed home. Actually, I'm going to write it in green. <laughs> I keep changing my mind. But green is his favorite color. So, I like to write things to do with him in his favorite color. Um because I know sometimes he watches these videos and he likes to see that I'm talking about him and that uh, I'm using his favorite color. I'm just going to write Sunny Stayed and I'll know exactly what that means. Um, so, that happened. Um, I am going to write, I'm not going to write that Maddox was insane but I am going to write that the kids were hyped up from Halloween. Okay, so I've got that. And now I'm just going to write that I stress ate <laughs> because... I was so guilty of stress eating yesterday. I, God, I can't even remember everything that I ate. It was a lot. Um, and it was a lot of sweets too. I mean, obviously from Halloween, but also like Halloween was my dad's 60th birthday. And so my mom um, and dad came to our house so they could see the kids on Halloween like they do every year. And my mom brought all these cupcakes and naturally nobody ate any. Uh, so we have all these cupcakes and I had a cupcake for breakfast. Um, and I mean, it was amazing, but I had heartburn all day from it. But even with heartburn, I was still just starving yesterday and I had pizza. My mom had brought over pizza, which there were tons of leftovers. So I had pizza. I just ate like crap yesterday. Um, and I was also a little bit stressed about some things. So it was definitely stress eating because food is just amazing when you're stressed. I wish I could be one of those people that uh, didn't really think about food <laughs> when I was stressed though, but I can't help it. It just, um, it's a comfort thing. So I'm selecting a color. I'm going to do blue or this green color is pretty. And I'm going to write down that I stress ate all day. I'm just not happy with my handwriting today and I just keep messing up. I'm just having one of those days. Um, so hopefully my next video, I'll have it together a little bit more. There were also some things that I did yesterday. Um, I started hosting a giveaway, which I will link to that in the video description. It's on my website. So this giveaway, I'm running it through November 9th. Uh, registration for the giveaway will close on November 9th at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, but it's for any digital planner in my shop. So, what you can do is you can register um, with this giveaway and there will be several different prompts that you can choose from. You can do however many or however few that you want, but the more you do, the more entries you'll get. And some of these prompts are worth two points and some are worth one point. And the prize for this giveaway is that you get to select any digital planner in my shop and you'll get it for free. I'll email it to you for free. Now, if you've already purchased a digital planner from me and you don't want an additional planner, I will just refund you for the planner that you've already purchased. So yeah, so that's it. Um, it'll be through November 9th. If you're watching this and it's after November 9th, then the giveaway is over and I'm so sorry. But in case it's before November 9th, 2018, um, you have not missed the giveaway. So, um, I'm not going to write about that though on this daily page because I'm not going to do a work related daily page since that was really the only thing that I got to do yesterday relating to work. What I'm going to do right here, I'm going to bring in one of those wacky holiday stickers that I used for a lot of my November calendar. So, I'm going to bring in for the sticker for um, whatever November 1st was. 
Um, so I'm gonna bring that in from Dropbox. And I'm gonna link to these sticker sets in the video description. <laughs> Like I've said in some of my other videos, these are from Jay Wilder Designs. I love her stuff. It's so cute and so much fun. And I just love her shop. So the first was World Vegan Day. And <laughs> if you watched my November Plan With Me video, you'll know why I think that, that this is funny. Um, but I love this sticker and I love these wacky holidays. So I'm just going to put that there because I don't really have much else to write about. I am going to come up with some ideas for things to do on different days. So if you have any ideas, like if you use a daily bullet journal or a daily digital planner, comment with some of the things that you like to put in your digital planner, because I'm always up for hearing about other people's planning methods or, you know, just whatever. I like to get new ideas from people. And I also like to see just what other people do with their planners, because I'm obsessed with planners. Like in my free time, I watch, uh, when I'm not watching Netflix or Hulu, I watch planning videos. So I believe that's all I'm going to do with this page. So now I'm just going to save it and I'm going to bring it back into GoodNotes. So to save it, I'm just going to go to my wrench tool. I'm going to go to share and I'm going to go to PNG and I'm going to go to save image. And now I'm going to go back to my planner in GoodNotes and I want to go to the tab that's for the first and then swipe and here's my blank page. So now I'm gonna insert this as an image. Now I'm just dragging to resize it. And there it is. So um, I'm seeing, you know, now that this is bigger that that uh, page right here definitely looks hand drawn, but that's okay. I'm okay with it because I wanted this to have more of a scrapbook, you know, realistic feel to it. So I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. Um, like I was saying, some of the days are gonna be way more detailed than this day was and some days I'll have a lot of pictures some won't um so it's this is just going to be a cool little memory keeper so I'm going to link to this planner this is the candy color scheme I'll link to this planner and the entire daily planner section of my site in the video description this planner style is not just available in this color scheme it's actually available currently in 11 color schemes but I will be coming out with even more color schemes just as soon as I can um, and they're $10, so, you know, it's a really good deal. And even though they're meant to be used for just one month at a time, you could really just buy one and then duplicate it 12 times if you wanted to use one for each month of the year. So, you're not just limited to using it once and then you're done. Um, that's the beauty of digital planning and digital planners. So, um, even if you don't use one of these daily planners, I hope you got something out of this video, whether it was how to do something in graphic or procreate, or, you know, just an idea of doing a daily page, even if you're not a busy person, <laughs> um, you can still do a daily page. That's pretty fun. So I will be back tomorrow with my November 2nd page. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more digital planning videos and digital planning tutorials. And check out my website, naptimealt.com, where there's tons of planner related freebies that you can download now.